How about you, bud? You want to teach the new new manip? Huh? He doesn't want to teach you guys anything. He's not even looking at you. He doesn't even care. Hey guys, welcome back. We have another episode here and apparently the manipulation video wasn't even out for what 24 hours. It wasn't even made after 24 hours and I decided that I was going to change up how the manipulations are done. So I am going to do another in-depth tutorial on how to do this new manipulation setup. This new manipulation setup is very close and similar to the other one and I'm really happy that we got the other video out first because now when watching this you guys are really gonna understand exactly what I'm doing here. Before we get into the nitty gritty guys, we have a special announcement at the end of the video. It's like a slash message slash announcement. There's a couple things that I wanted to talk to you guys about and let you know what's gonna be going on with YouTube. So let's get right into the subpixel manipulation. Woo! Essentially the idea is, is I'm gonna change up my manipulation so that I can guarantee that I get very specific subpixel values and by doing that it allows me to actually clip into the wall a little bit easier. And you might be asking yourself, well what was wrong with the duck jump? Well the duck jump is good and it works but the problem is is that when you go to duck jump for the wall clip you have to make sure that you hit down for the smallest amount of time possible and you have to press a and aim your head into the wall so what i decided was i'm not about that business anymore i don't want to do that anymore what i want to do is i want to be able to stand and clip we're going to take a look at how i can do the standing clip versus the duck clip because when you do the standing clip you no longer have to press down for the down input anymore that's easy oh thank god right i don't have to down all i have to do is perfectly time my position with the a jump and i don't know about you guys but most people are much better at pressing a at a precise time than they are at pressing down it might not be true but from my experience it seems like that's the case it's a lot easier to press a at a specific time than down this is where it gets tricky okay the sub pixels that we talked about before with the duck clip in order to get into the wall, we need to get a subpixel value from 0 to 6. That doesn't work with the standing clip in 7.1. You need subpixel value only 14 and 15. And if you look on the screen right here, you can see four, 15, move one pixel or whatever. Look at how hard it is, right? Well, Mitch, how the hell are you going to land on 15 and 14 with the manipulation? 0 to 6 seemed a lot easier. I have a really cool little setup for doing this. We're gonna stand under the wand and we're gonna do our normal forward subpixel manipulation, right? So we're gonna make sure we move one pixel, okay? Now, the reason I'm still doing this is because if I've moved forward to the right one pixel, I know for sure that my value is gonna be anywhere from zero to six. We've already confirmed that, right? So if I move one pixel to the right, then all I have to do is try and move back one pixel to the left with very, very light taps. You're gonna wanna stand under the wand, Move right once, and then move left once. I still hit 14 right there, which is which is awesome. That's exactly what we want to do. The only way you can do the standing clip is on subpixel value 14 or 15. So let's go ahead and start with subpixel value 15. You aim properly, and you get right in. That's it. Easy peasy. All I'm doing is lining up pretty much the center of Mario's head right there, right before he hits his black brim, right on the red right there. I'm talking about directly into the corner right here. Right into the corner, just angle. So let's go into this pipe, change our subpixel value to 14. There you go. Ooh, getting good at those frame presses. All right, let's try, let's try 14. Positioning's everything. But at least we can work on our positioning, right? At least we can work on our positioning. The standing clip only works on value 14 or 15. Now, the next one, 7, 6. 7, 1, the subpixel value needs to be 14 or 15, right? That's pretty tough. 7.6, you have subpixel value from three to 10, and that works. Is there a setup that we can use to guarantee subpixel value three to 10? There is actually. What if I press right super light taps? Maybe one or two, let's just do one, two. Well, I know I'm six is gonna work with the clip, right? If I keep doing that, move one pixel to the right, then lightly tap, I'm above three. I'm above three and below 10. So we'll take hit, stomp on him, Stomp again, move one pixel, light tap, boom. So these are the new manipulations that I'm actually gonna be using because I don't wanna duck jump clip anymore in these levels. I don't wanna duck jump clip anymore. I'm done with it. I'm done with the duck jump. You can clearly see that what I'm doing 
is working. I enjoy it. It makes me feel way more confident in my levels. It's going to be a lot harder than the original manipulation, but once you get good at doing one pixel to the right and then either light tap or one pixel to the right and then one pixel to the left, it should come pretty naturally and uh, eventually come pretty easy. Hope you guys really enjoyed and take it easy. What's up guys? I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you so much for the YouTube traffic that I'm getting. Um, the way I'm looking at YouTube now is, is starting to change and I'm solely trying to create content that I feel like you guys are going to be interested in. I have this really big long term goal where I would love nothing more to get one of those YouTube plaques. I really feel like at the end of the day I am somewhat of a form of an entertainer and I feel like if I work really hard I might be able to hit that 100,000 subscribers. It's going to be a lot of work, it's going to take a lot of time, but some things to put in perspective. My task video where I where I did the um, uh, where I reacted to task video. If everyone who watched that video subscribed to me, we would hit 100,000 subs, right? And that as soon as I realized that, it made me think. You know what? If if I can really reach out to reach out to all of you and let you know that I am committed to this YouTube type of job, along with my Twitch and the world record streams and stuff like that and uh, if I commit to you guys maybe once you see that I reach out first that you guys are willing to reach back and uh, hit that subscribe button and really uh, interact with some comments and you know try and get more involved and uh, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone we got 18 to 19,000 subscribers right now and that's more than I ever thought I was going to have so now I have a goal set in mind and, and I think we all work really hard together to achieve it um, I think we can. Leave some comments in the in the section below of any future videos that you guys would love to see. I'm so into what we're doing right now. So if you have anything, any recommendations, any suggestions, let me know. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Woo!